Wired Up TV, Best Tool Pop the Live Channel, and Past and Present, Political News Team, The Gab Interview. ...and get mad at me because I hope them guys, you know, love the conversation we have in the night. And I hope they all come over and follow the kids, you know what I mean? For and, sure, um, for sure. We continue on this journey together. But yeah, me, for sure. Those, those autopsy pictures I saw in 96, when she first put out a book, or was it, maybe 97. And it, you know, man, it just, it hit me in the gut, man. My dad. You know, it, it made my skin crawl to see Pac like that. Yeah. And, and to me, you know, it didn't look fake to me. Now, I hope, I hope the people were right when they say the autopsy picture is fake. You know, I hope he don't got Michael Belly on his back. I hope it was a mannequin, but it just sure didn't look like it, man. I mean, <laughs> Tupac's face looked like he was grimacing. Like, it was a pain, you know, stomach looked all hollow and stuff, man. It just, to me, it was in poor taste, man. And I never got the opportunity to speak with Kathy Scott. I understand you did. I actually checked it out. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, um, for a parent, as a parent, God forbid, I would never want to see one of my loved ones like that, especially in a damn book. You know, what yeah. I'm, you know what I'm trying yeah. to say to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I feel I that. I could imagine how Miss Feeney Shakur may have felt about that. And, um, you know, I just, I'm going to come on and say it. I think that was a yeah. poor taste. I don't, oh, I don't care what kind, of, what kind of check somebody can offer me. I would have never put somebody's kid in a book like that. That's just my opinion, though. Know. Yeah, for sure, no. for sure. Yeah, no, and yep. um, there's our subscribers here, bro, we're all open-minded, man. I, you know what? Even, oh, yeah, definitely. Even in our live streams, I've got people that come on and ask me, why up? I mean, Tupac is dead, man. I mean, why do you think he's alive? And we have our little discussions, but you know what? Yeah. We all have the right to have our own opinion, and uh, all of our subscribers, they know what's up, and all of our subscribers love you, Gab, and if they're yeah, not definitely. subscribers right now, I'm pretty sure they're going to they subscribe be. right after this. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> You know what I mean, but um, yeah, for sure, man. So what, what if if um, you know, if you believe you know Pac is dead or got murdered that night, who do you think was his assailants? Because there's a lot of you know controversy and conspiracy theories on that side of the border too. Not only on the two, yeah. but the life side. Uh, so what do you think happened, guy? In your I opinion, I mean, in my opinion, right? Yeah. People that follow me know. I be all over the place sometimes, you know. <laughs> I, I make a video and I, and she, I question a lot of things. I mean, you have to, you know, you have to question, you know, a lot of things. But you know, at the end of the day, we ain't detectives, and we shouldn't try to pretend like we detectives and we can actually solve this case. Now, I'll go a step further. I don't think Tupac's case will never be solved, as mm -hmm. far as somebody being punished for, you know, murdering Tupac Shakur. But I will say this, um, as far as who done it, you know, to me, when I first heard her hit him up, in my gut, because I don't have any paperwork in front of me, I never was able to read all the transcripts and stuff like that. So I'm just going off my gut and my intuition. Yeah. When I first heard her hit him up in 1996, I believe it was in June, uh, the first, my first impulse was somebody was going to die. Because it had went too far, you know, it was it was a, a humiliating thing he said about Diggy and his wife and, you know, he was shooting rappers, kids and all that other stuff. And I just yeah. was like, wow, this, this is really going too far. I just got a bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. So I, I will say I believe it all revolved around, you know, um, you know, the beef between Biggie and Tupac. Now, whether that was Puffy's call or Biggie's call, or what have you, I'm not 100% sure because I will say this, all these people quick to blame Puffy and me being one of them because the evidence is very convincing yeah. what uh, Brad Kaden presented to the general public. Sure. I'll tell you this, I just read a story about a lady who, had, who was a nurse, right? Yeah. And she was all high on drugs one night and hit a man with her car, right? Yeah. And the man actually got impaired through her, um, uh, through her uh, windshield, he was stuck through there. He was ribcage, and she drove him. She drove him back to her garage, 
And he lived for a couple hours pleading with her, Miss, I won't tell on you. I just need to get some some help. He was um, actually stuck to the glass. Oh, wow. And she was like, if, if I call the police and get you some help, I'm going to get locked up. So he bled, he bled, he bled out when he died. Damn. So a couple of her buddies came over and they helped her clean up the blood. And they he was homeless. They drove his body to a park and like dumped him, right? Damn. So she, so she got away with murder. A few years later, she had a party. She get drunk. And she tell the people at the party, hey, I hit a man one night, took him back to my garage, let him die, and he buried him in the woods and laughed about it, right? Oh, wow. You know those people went to the police department and they came and arrested her? Uh-huh. <laughs> she, she, was locked up, she was locked up off a of hearsay. And they wow. looked into it, they found somebody's body, and they locked her up. So what I'm saying to you is, so you got a guy like Keithy e. B yep. saying, yeah, we shot Pac, yeah, we did this, and this guy here, Puffy, paid for it, and they ain't come lock Puffy up. Then what did that tell you? Yeah. Puffy probably didn't do it. Bullshit. Or oh, they don't give something, a fuck. Something, something, something in his story ain't right, and they right. know it. So the question is, who's telling him to tell his story? Right. Yeah. That's a good point. Hey. Man. Hey, man, I, I just want to make you think. That's all. I ain't asking for a lot. I just want the people to think, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, that's the beauty of what I do. Some guys want to, you know, do this. Some guys want to do that. I want to make you think. If you watch any any of my videos, I always say, tell me what you think. Oh, yeah. You know? yeah, no, definitely. At the end of it, tell me what you think. Do you think this? Do you think that? Because I know how my mind works. But I'll be, you know, trying to figure out, you know, does anybody else feel like I feel out there? You know what I mean? That's a very good point, man. You know, that I never thought about it like that. Like, who's telling them to say it? Now, I will say, I don't, I never believed 100% of his story. Um, and again, a shout out to Mr. Greg Caden. We actually had him on the show as well. Uh, his, I, I really believe, you know, because like I tell everybody at first, you know, when I, because I've been liking Tupac for the longest, right? But I always thought Tupac was dead. And, it, and it really wasn't in, until I started doing my own research and doing stuff like that. And when I started questioning, wait a minute, there's not everything fits here. And that's when I started kind of going on, on, on the other side into the Tupac Alive side and really opening my mind to everything that's happening. So, um, yeah, that, that I really think that the great Caden part of the story has been the, the most solid part, but I don't actually believe. Uh, it's all 100% true, but that's just my opinion. You, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. You know, Puff Daddy, and you know, I got a series on my channel called Long Kiss Goodnight. I don't know if you guys saw it. Oh, yeah. You know, Puffy was telling uh, Biggie them not to say nothing. Bad boys move in silence. They want to handle it their way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, it's just, it's, it's a lot of things that, you know, people should go back and re-examine, you know, for your own self, right. you know, and you can do the lag work that obviously the police department don't want to do, for but sure. at the end of the right. day, I don't, I don't know what's going to come from it, but you may find closure in what you discover, because if you sit and wait for somebody to make an arrest, then I, I think that you're going to turn blue in the face, because, <laughs> you know, yeah, I don't I think, I don't think... And I don't think it's gonna happen, but if you want closure in the, you know, in the chapter, because Tupac's murder is part of his story, you know? Yes. If you want that part of the story to be answered for yourself, then, you know, you can go back and re-examine things for yourself. Yeah, You definitely. know, and, and, you know, a lot of things make sense when you go back and look at it with fresh eyes. You know, go back and listen to what Tupac had to say. Go back and listen to what... You know, his adversaries had to say, go back and watch the interviews, watch the footage, and, you know, just keep score. It all makes yeah, sense. For sure. I know um, I heard an interview with Tupac. I think he was talking to, um, what's, what's that guy's name from the Rolling 60s? Um, uh, Monster Cody. Uh, big Monster shout out Cody. to Monster Cody. Cody. You know, I didn't mean to forget his name, but yeah, he was talking to Monster Cody, and there was a recorded phone call. And in that phone call, he actually. Monster Cody asked Tupac, "Hey, uh, who was the people that shot you at the uh, at the Quad Studio? Quad Studio, yeah, Quad Studio." Right. 
And Tupac says it was a a, a, a crew by the name of the A Team in New York. A Team, right? And that's something I never, ever, ever, ever in my whole being, you know, a Tupac fan or doing my research, I never would even think that there was. I mean, because I always went by what Tupac said in his music. It was Biggie, some of Biggie's homeboys. Maybe uh, it was a uh, Haitian Jack or somebody else. But when he said that, man, it just opened another door for me to look into. And you know, there's actually, hey. you know, what I'm saying. <laughs> Well, here go, here go another shameless promote, promotion on my part. Go back and check out the series I got against our laws. They can still be Biggie's homeboys, but you just didn't know they had a name. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, right, sure. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know they had a name. They, they had a name to their, you know, little crew. Yeah, go back and check all that stuff out, man. You know, it's just amazing to me, man. We we 20 some more years into Tupac's passing, man, and... um. Stuff is still fresh as yesterday, man. You know, there's so many people that come along and, you know, be inquisitive and, um, you know, just want answers. And as long as people out there search for the truth, man, you know, Pac, Pac somewhere, you know, banging for them to head. Right? I was banging for them to head because, like I say, this, this guy actually chronicled everything in his life. You, you know, if you go back and look at the old interviews, you say he kept a journal, he kept a, a diary. Yeah. You know, this guy wanted you to know. He even said, "You gonna see, you gonna see me win, you gonna see me lose, you gonna see me die, you gonna see me." He, he just ran it down to you, yeah. and that's what makes some people think he was an agent or was scripted. No, this guy. Some people know, like, without getting too personal, on here with you guys. Yeah. But you know, when you ask for an interview with me. I give you the truth. I give you the full money. You know what I mean? Okay. And uh, my people know, man. My brother, God bless his soul, my brother David, he had to go in for, a, uh, you know, a minor surgery. And we were telling him he was going to be okay, man. And, you know, he kept telling us, well, if, if I'm not, I already lived a good life. And I'm like, yo, why are you even talking like this? Like, I, don't, I never heard a doctor say, you know, with a chance you may not make it through surgery. He was like, yeah, you know, but if I don't, then I'm good. I thought he was crazy for talking like that. Yeah. Two days before surgery, he came to the house. He wanted to see some um, family photos of himself when he was a little boy. And wow. he was just, just staring off, staring off, looking at the walls and stuff. I'm like, dude, you're really tripping over this surgery. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was like, he just knew it in his gut, man. And... You know, he had the surgery, but he died a day later. One yeah. day after the surgery, he passed away. 2000 and I want to say 15. Damn. So I, I said this to say that sometimes people get that feeling and they can't shake it. You know what I mean? They know even when the people around them don't know it. You know what I mean? Sure. And um, I, I don't know if that's God giving them a chance to say goodbye or a chance for them to, you know, yeah, live on right. Yeah. yeah, the way they want to lift things out at the end or like you said, make amends with people or what happened. But it was a, a feeling Pac had that he couldn't shake. The other people around him couldn't understand. But, you know, he, he kind of felt it. Just like when somebody do something to you, you know who did it to you. Like, yep. yeah. I'm sure with guys in high school that you didn't like or that maybe they didn't like you and somebody, you know, knock your books over or somebody stole something from you and everybody wondering who did it but in your mind you know who did it you feel me yeah yeah hey, you already know who did it something's go without saying or it's a sucker in your neighborhood he's mad you got a nice car <laughs> somebody <laughs> mad your car everybody wondering who did it and you know how this dude was looking at your car I'm just yeah. using that as a you know metaphor or whatever but <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, always go with your gut <laughs> Yeah, he got intuition, man. I mean, yeah, yeah. Even animals got intuition. Even insects. You try to hit right. a roach with a shoe. I don't know if a roach <laughs> got a soul. If you try to hit him with a shoe, he gonna they run dodge. for his life. Yeah, yeah. he gonna run. He, he gonna run. He gonna yeah. try to get away. Y'all don't even <laughs> speak the same language. Y'all not the same species or nothing. But he know he coming to kill his ass. Yeah, motherfucker, no. <laughs> yeah, trying to get low. That's yeah. a nice that's yeah. so good. What, what do you do, do? 
Do you actually think, um, because there's people, you know, there's stories out there that uh, Pac supposedly shot himself at the Quad Studio or whatnot, or whatnot. Do you think he got shot five times, or do you think while he was pulling for hey, the strap, he shot come himself? come on, man. If, if, you, if you ever seen Tupac needing a haircut, sometimes if you just a picture of him and the girl that they say was or wasn't the girl that accused him of rape, and they sitting inside a hotel room, and he got the baseball hat on and her head turned to the side and people keep screaming, that's not her. Yeah. But everybody keeps using that picture when they, be, when they um, talk about her just for a point of reference. That's why I use it. I don't yeah. care if it's her or not. <laughs> yeah. I'm just showing him with a young lady. If you look at his hat, you can actually see like ball spots. Yeah. And like different parts of his head. Exactly. So the, the hair didn't grow in those spots because... Scar. That's why he was a lesbian. It was scar tissue. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, if he shot himself in the nuts, that's one thing. But he ain't shoot himself in the head a couple yeah, times. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, bro. I heard him exactly. say one to blow his brains out, but I never, you know, never heard any confirmation that he shot himself in the head at Quad Studio. Yeah. So, yeah, so, exactly. so with just don't, that theory alone, you know, I would say he was shot more than once, you yeah. know. And so, you know, why lie about being shot five times? I mean... Being yeah. shot once is good enough, right? Hell yeah. Hey, yeah. I was shot once. That's why, why, why did you say that? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. And then and then that's probably why he he shaved his head bald too, right? Maybe to hide that. Well, he was he had a bald head before that. Oh, that's he true. Had a, yeah. A bald head right, before right. that, but but you know that definitely was the reason to cut your hair off. You know, because you got those patches that won't grow back because of the yeah. bullet. You know, probably was a um probably a, a braids or something like that or maybe they went to scalp I don't know and that's the beauty of you know talking to me because if I don't know I'm going to tell you I don't know <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> I'm going to tell you I ain't because I ain't, some guys read something they like oh ain't no for a fact I don't yeah, know everything yeah. for a fact yeah. like, you asked me my opinion and um I believe Tupac was shot five times because he said he was and by all accounts you know <laughs> Top of his head was kind of fucked up. <laughs> That's the damn shit. Uh, mm -hmm. So, Joe, do you got anything else, Joe? Um, have you heard of any new music coming out for Park? You know, you you would have to think some music coming out on Two Park. Yeah, because you know, whenever it's new life, there's new opportunity. Yeah, and the new life will be this documentary that I actually broke on my channel. You know, I, I was privileged to some information by people that was in court with the, with the estate. And they told me, you know what strange guy? I said, what? They said, Alan Hughes is here today. And I'm like, what? And you know, I'm so grateful, man, because, you know, I, I done became, you know, a, you know, a major figure, you know, you know, in this crazy world of Tupac information. Sure. And like I say, somebody called me from the courthouse. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Alan, Hughes, Alan Hughes is here today. I'm like, Alan Hughes? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, he the new, he the, Steve McQueen ain't the director no more. He the new director, of, you know, the Tupac documentary coming out. Oh. So I knew that information eight months before I could talk about it. Oh, and wow. six months before everybody else knew. So that's like 14 months. I knew that information about yeah. Alan Hughes doing this major documentary. And I mean, they want everything Tupac related in their possession. I'm talking photos, I'm talking video footage, I'm talking phone calls, anything they can get for this documentary because they want new material. Yeah. They want stuff that you never saw before. So with that being said, that would be a golden opportunity to put out some new music. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. Yeah. Right. Definitely. Right. So, so I, I would, I would believe if I was a betting man, you know, if I was gambling right now, yeah. I would believe when that documentary come out, keep your ears peeled for some new Tupac music. Oh, That's yeah. my opinion. My opinion. For sure. Cool. Cool. Do you know when it's gonna come out, Gab? That I couldn't tell you. <laughs> right. I don't know. And, and if I did know, I probably couldn't tell you because they would probably tell me not to say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, 
That's what's up. Uh, do you got anything else, Joe, or ready to wrap it no, up? No, no. I'm ready to wrap it up. All right, Gav. Sounds good. Thank you so much, my brother, for doing this, man. Yeah. Um, oh, man, this is a lot of fun. I thank you for having me on, for thinking enough of, of me to bring me through, man, to your subscribers, man. Definitely. Peace and blessings. Thank you guys for tuning in. Keep supporting Wired Up TV and Danny and Joe. Come thank on you, thank over you. Check me out at, come on over and check me out at Machiavelli Media. Follow me on Instagram, on official Gavin Sam. And, um, man, let's keep Tupac alive. Tupac for okay. life. Always and uh, Always I appreciate you guys, bro. Oh, man, All right. we appreciate you, Gavin. Uh, you for everybody that is not a subscriber, subscribe to Machiavelli Media. And y'all heard the man on his Instagram and all that good stuff, man. Gab, big ups, man. Thank you so much, brother. You're a real MF, man. Oh, man, salute, man. One love. And we both be signing off. We both to hit y'all with the peace. Peace out, Gab. <laughs> all right. Hey, man, God bless you guys, man. Thank you for having me on, yeah? For sure, Gab. God bless you too, my brother. All right, hey, Joe, nice to meet you, Joe. Yeah, same here, brother, same here. <laughs> hey, we got to do some stuff on my channel, man, soon as I finish these last little videos I already got put up. Okay. I got them all locked up. So we're going to get together for the month over with, man, and get you on my channel and do some things. Hell yeah, for oh, sure. Yep, anytime, my brother. That will be an honor, yeah. bro. An honor. Yeah, oh, man, it will be the honor that you want, man. I, doing big things, keep it up. Right and we're going to make this a movement, man. You know, we're going to get... We ain't paying attention to none of the phonies or whatever, or the fake people. We just gonna do what we do. That's, what's That's up. right. That's what's up. No doubt about it. Hey man, one love. One, one love. love. Yeah, let I me know. Let me know when you gonna put it up, so I can, you know, tell everybody to check it out. Okay, I think I'm gonna. Uh, it'll be on by tomorrow afternoon for sure, Gab. Okay. Uh, well, keep me posted, so I can, you know, tell my people to check it out. I got you, my brother. Thanks so much, Gab. All right, later. All right, later. later. There you have it. Part two of the Wired Up TV Gab interview. One of the hottest interviews, the realest interviews, the most uh, 100 interview we've done. You know, the most popular interview. This is one of the interviews you guys asked for the most. And it's hit, man. It's gotten the most views out of any interview. And it's just, you know, it's Gab, y'all. So, you know, y'all gotta keep supporting Gab. Support Machiavelli Media. Support his music. You know what I'm saying? And because supporting Gab is supporting the, the whole Tupac community. You know, like I said, it's gotten the most views. 2,000 views in one day. Uh, you know, but we already knew that. You know, it's the kid. You know what I'm saying? It's Gab. It's, you know, it's the homeboy, you know. Now, we're honored to have him on the show. Honored to interview him. This has been one of my favorite interviews. Um, you know, hands down because of the realness you know what i'm saying and uh the way you know gab has that talent just he just has that talent man to make you think with everything he says you know what i'm saying uh his music has that gift too every time you hear a gab uh, a, a gab slap you know as you hear my daughter's trying to talk too in the background yeah she's trying to say the gab interview is lit <laughs> so yeah big shout out to big gab uh for doing the the uh the interview you know what i'm saying uh i just can't stop repeating how little it was uh we were stuck on it man just listening to him you know somebody that been there knows people that Pac knew you know knows the information knows the the facts you know what i'm saying was in the music industry himself and uh, has studied all this stuff you know it's always real good to pick somebody like that's brain because it doesn't only give you more information it gives you game and it gives you another outlook on something you know something that you are already looking at i don't know if you guys get what i mean but um yeah it just gives you another outlook on stuff man and you know the more people you talk to more people that you pick brains uh the more you're gonna understand Pac and the you know whatever you believe in whether it's tupac's alive tupac passed Whatever you believe in, man, you know, uh, if you do not do your due diligence, you're not going to get where you want to get. So big shout out to Gab. Everybody subscribe to Machiavelli Media. You know what I'm saying? Um, hit my boy to his PayPal, you know, and because uh, like I already said, supporting him and supporting everybody in the whole Tupac community. So y'all keep your heads up. Um, you know what I'm saying? Put these interviews in your classic interviews and you guys stay 
uh, keep an eye on, keep a lookout for more interviews coming for Wired Up TV. And um, uh, yeah, and that's all I gotta say, my people. So keep your heads up, uh, do what you gotta do, get your money, keep your hands on them steering wheels. And uh, like I always tell you guys, always stay wired up, my people. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.